what's up everyone and welcome to today's Webflow Jam session. Uh, so today it is going to be a quick one uh, because there's not a lot we're going to review from yesterday's Jam session. Uh, there's just a few quick things that I'd like to change um, and that's the gradient at the top and the bottom. Um, so I'll go into the Webflow project. Uh, so this gradient at the top and the bottom I do want to make it a little bit lighter uh, because in the Figma file it's not um, as dark uh, as it is here. So here I'll go into the navigator, I'll go into the right section, right content and select the right gradient top. Then I'll select the linear, linear gradient, select the black and I'll change the alpha to maybe something like 80. And then the same for the right for the right gradient bottom, select the lin linear gradient, select the black and I'll change the alpha to something like 80 there. All right, so that's all I wanted to change for from yesterday's uh, jam session. So let's go into Figma and let's take a look at what we, we will be working on today. Uh, so what I want to work on today is this these nav items. Um, so I want to change the color and I want to add this little line here. Um, so when we hover, this little line appears over each nav item. Uh, so we'll, we'll be working on that today. And I'll also add some text here at the bottom. Um, we'll adjust it so all this text aligns correctly because we notice some lines uh, some of this text has two lines and some has one. Um, and yeah, I think that, that'll be good uh, for today's jam session. Uh, so I have my phone here. So I'll go ahead and start the timer. Uh, click start and the timer has started. So let's go into the project. And the first thing we're gonna do is add that little line into each of these nav items. So I'll select the nav item, hit command K and I'll add a div block. And I'll call this nav item line. And for the width, I'll set it to one pixel. The height, I'll set it to 10 pixels. Uh, then for the position, I'll set it to absolute. And for the top, we'll set it to zero, so the line goes all the way to the top. And then for the background color, I'll set it to black here. Okay, great, so we have our line at the top. Looks good. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that line to each nav item. All right, awesome. So we also want to change the color of this text. So when we hover over each nav item, that line is going to appear and the text is going to change color. Uh, so initially this text is, um, so here if I, if I go into Figma and I select the nav item, this text has an RGB of 4141, uh, RGBA of 414141, 41, and an alpha of 0 0.2. Uh, so let's go ahead and change the color of that text. Um, so here for the uh, color of the text, uh, right down here it's in hex value so I want to change it to RGB and I'll just enter in those values. Uh, so that's that's one thing that's great about Webflow, you can do HSB or RGB. So 41, 41, 41 and an alpha of 20. Awesome. Uh, so we noticed these other ones didn't change um, and that's because they don't have the class name nav item uh, text applied to it. So I'll just go ahead and apply the class, na class name nav item uh, text to each one and they turn that uh, light gray color. All right, looks good. So now we can add the interaction. Um, so when, when we hover over each nav item, I want the text to change uh, color and I want this line to appear. So I'll select the nav item, go into interactions, click the plus, select mouse hover, and on hover we'll start an animation. I'll click the plus and I'll call this nav item in. All right, so on uh, initially, so what we want to happen is that nav item line, I don't want it to, to be visible initially, so I'll select it, click the plus, select opacity, and for the timing, I'll set it as the initial state right here. And for the initial state, the opacity is gonna be 0%, so we don't see it. And then I'll set, add another timed action and click opacity. And then we're gonna have a duration of 0.2 to keep it consistent with these plus lines changing color. And for the easing, I'll say ease out as well. And the opacity 100, perfect. So now if I preview and we hover over, so initially it's not visible and then when I hover, that line appears, nice. And then for the nav item text, we also want it to change color. So I'll select it and then I'll select text color. And uh, right down here, we'll change the color to uh, RGB uh, or yeah, it actually doesn't matter here, but we'll change it to black and that looks good. And for the easing, we'll say ease out and duration of 0.2. And then we'll start it with the opacity. So if I preview, uh, looks good. And then I hover, 
the text changes color and the line comes in. Uh, so now on hover out, so I'll close this here. On hover out, we'll start an animation and the nav item in, I'll duplicate, select it, and I'll say nav item out here. Um, so here we don't need the initial state, so I'll just delete it. And then for the opacity, we'll just set the opacity back to 0% for the nav item line, so it's not visible. And then the nav item text, we'll set the color back to RGB. Yeah, RGB here. And we'll set it to 41, 41, 41, and 20. Perfect. So it looks good. So right now it's only being applied to that first one. So we have that effect to the first one. But we want to apply it to all of them. So all we need to do for the interaction is uh, click out of there. And then for the trigger settings, select class instead of element. So here I'll select class. And any class that's nav item uh, will have the interaction applied. And we're affecting um, any uh, of the classes inside of the nav item. So it'll apply it to all of them. So now I'll preview. And we have that nice menu effect applied to all the nav items. Perfect. Looks good. All right. So the next thing we'll do is just change the text here at the bottom for uh, these panels. So I'll go ahead into Figma, look at the text. So pure sound, Bluetooth, stay on the move. So let's go ahead and add that in, pure sound. Uh, let me see how I am on time. And I think my time's almost up. Yeah, pure sound. Yep, so I'll just go a little bit, a few more minutes, Bluetooth, uh, stay on the move, and focus on the pure essentials and pure honest materials. So I'll click here, focus on uh, pure essentials and pure honest materials. All right, cool. Uh, so one thing we note here is that uh, some of these, some of this, uh, some of this text is on two lines, and so it's not aligned. So what we'll do here, um, there's a few ways we can do this. I mean, if we did this, like gave each uh, each of these an extra kind of uh, line break, it looks like it's aligned, but that might not work sometimes if the if the panels are larger, because these will end up being on one line. So what we'll do is give the right panel bottom a specific height of let's say 150 pixels. Uh, that looks good. And then let's let's remove the margin from the bottom because it kind of went up quite a bit. Um, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, we can see all the text here is aligned uh, at the top and perfect. So now I'll publish and preview and looks good. So all the text is aligned and the panels look good and we have the menu up here. Uh, awesome. So that is that is it for today's uh, jam session, and cool. So tomorrow we'll we'll probably focus on the left side a bit more. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to make this a slider. So when we click these buttons, the image changes here, and this text uh, text slides. And then we'll add kind of this heading, and yeah. So we're also going to be adding e-commerce because we see we have a shopping cart here. So we'll add e-commerce within Webflow. So that'll be pretty cool as well, and we'll add a really nice, interesting menu uh, to the site. All right, so that's it for today's uh, jam session. So uh, yeah, I'll quickly kind of talk about my templates here. If you wanna get started quickly with Webflow, you can check out my templates here at the shop. Um, I'll leave a link in the description area below. There's also a discount code uh, below. You can uh, get 20% off any template by using the discount code WFY-YouTube uh, for any of the templates in the shop. And yeah, it's just a, a kind of a quick way to get started with Webflow with a really nice template. Awesome. So that is it for today's jam session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next jam session.